Here goes. Dear Margaret Sanker, I hope this letter finds you well. My friends and I are reading of your exile in the newspaper. We wish you success in your work on behalf of working women. You may be pleased to know that we all have left St. Mary's house on the Lower East Side and parted ways to seek our fortunes. But first we made a pact to send letters to each other and to you, our beloved patroness. Patrick and I have found ourselves in Montreal. It's very cold, so everyone wears coats made of beaver pelts. There are a lot of French people and they eat French food. Patrick and I were sitting outside of a cafe eating a delicious breakfast of foamy milk and raspberry cream pastries when I saw a familiar man walk by. It took me a while to recognize him because he wasn't wearing his uniform, but sure enough, it was Sergeant Pinkleton, the policeman who used to harass me. I pointed him out to Patrick and we both shuddered. I went inside and talked to the owner of the cafe, whose name was Jean-Luc Pierre Francois Saint-Philippe Antoine Lacroix. He told us to call him Pierre. Pierre helped us plan a special dinner for Sergeant Pinkleton that night. We told him it was a policeman's appreciation dinner, but that he was the only policeman we appreciated. He's so stupid that he believed it. We served him all kinds of food, pastries and cream and soup and chicken, and he was greedy. He ate everything we put in front of him, and he belched and little dribblings came out of his mouth and got caught in his chest hair, but he didn't notice. He just kept eating. And then he started refusing food, but we encouraged him to keep eating. And then he refused again, so we put a pistol to his head. We'd run out of food except for baguettes, so we just forced him to eat baguette after baguette until one was sticking out of his throat like a submarine. And he went purple trying to cough it up, but we kept it where it was until he choked and stopped breathing. And then I set him on fire. 